Hey, it's Christina. I'm a producer and content strategist with Kapwing. And today I'm going to show you how to remove the background. Nope, I'm going to show you how to green screen. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you how to edit green screen video using the Chromebook. I'm going to be using Chromebook Pixelbook 5, which has a touch screen. Most Chromebooks now have touch screens, but not all. So the big advantage of using Kapwing on a touch screen is that a lot of the features are extra easy when you can use your fingers to sort of um, erase and pick stuff. If you're a student or teacher, this is a great tool because you can use Kapwing for free without having to log into anything. So like no students are going to be scrounging for their passwords to get in. And you can create videos up to seven minutes long. You just need a login to get rid of the watermark, but if you don't really care about the watermark, no problem. The way green screen video works is uh, something is filmed with a solid color background, usually green, but you can also work with other colors. And then this chroma key will pick out all the green and then erase it and make it transparent. So you can put whatever image you want in the background. The cool thing about using Kapwing on your Chromebook is that you can actually install this web app as an app. So if you click right here, install Kapwing and say install. Boom, now Kapwing is down here. You can see it right in your app menus with all these other apps. So then when you open it, it will take you to this page so you can start editing right away. Okay. First, you need to load your footage. So click on the upload button right here. And then click on here to drag, you can open up your files or drag and drop your files here. You can also paste a URL link if it's a, if it's a video you found online. After you brought your image in and resized it by pulling these little tabs in the corner, you're going to go to effects and then say chroma key. Now it's automatically gonna assume you wanted green gone, but you could also uh, take out blue or you could use the key to color, which will let you select a color for a background you wanna get rid of. Let's see what fun things we can do with this now. And this is what it would look like if you had a tiger in your backyard. It's a little bit laggy because I'm screen recording and playing at the same time, but if you were to export it, it would look much better. Let's try with a slightly harder green screen. Let's click on your image and then go to effects, chroma key. So you'll notice that there's a bit of green still left on the sides. So for one like this, I would go into, I would go to chroma key and then instead of doing green, cause it's still gonna get a lot of that green, I would go key to color. Now with a regular key, we noticed that a lot of the green really close to the flames was what was causing a problem. So we're gonna use this eyedropper tool. We're gonna pick up a bit of that darker green that we wanna get rid of. So hover it over an area where you're gonna see some darker greens and then we can increase the hue threshold. So it's going to bring in more variances of green that are going to be cut out and then more saturations of green. Um, let's see what that looks like. Now this probably isn't the best green screen one to use. So if I was doing this really professionally, I would probably go and find a better green screen that had a much cleaner, like that tiger was crisp. This is a little bit fuzzy. So I would probably start with a stronger green screen. And I would definitely recommend watching some tutorials if you're filming your own green screen, because a few simple tips and tricks are going to make it much easier for you to remove the background. All right. How do you feel? How's your peace? Are you excited? Uh, it's going to be great. It can be a little bit tricky to get a hang of, but you're gonna do a wonderful job. And we love seeing the kinds of things you come up with. So please tag us in your content because we really just like love to see the things you guys make. And subscribe for more awesome content.